I just received a new hardware wallet and I feel like a kid before Christmas. This wallet is supposed to be way more advanced than all the other wallets on the market. So I'm really, really impatient to unpack this baby and see what is inside. If you don't know me, I'm Julian and on Eat The Blocks, I teach blockchain development. I already have a couple of hardware wallets like Nano Ledger. What's the point of yet another wallet? There are two reasons. The first reason is security. About six months ago, the CEO of a DeFi project was stolen for about $8 million of tokens. If someone so well versed into crypto can get his crypto stolen, so can we. How did he lose his crypto? This happened in a complex hack where hackers managed to take control of his computer and install a fake version of MetaMask. When he tried to send tokens, the fake version of MetaMask showed the normal transaction for validation but actually created a malicious transaction that stole all the token. When that guy confirmed the transaction on his nano ledger, he didn't really check that the transaction info looked correct, he just trusted what he saw from MetaMask, he confirmed the transaction on his nano ledger, which means the transaction was sent with a valid signature, it was mine, and $8 million of tokens were stolen, just like that. If you want to be safe, you have to check carefully the transaction info on your hardware wallet. But on another ledger, it's not easy to visualize the transaction info. You have this tiny screen that is too small to show you all the data of your transaction. The transaction data scrolls automatically right and left so that you can see everything, but it's really annoying and many people don't have the patience to check everything and they just confirm the transaction too early. I wanted a wallet where it's easy to check the transaction data so that I never skip this step and I never rely on the info of MetaMask. Besides security, another reason why I wanted to try another wallet was user experience. On the Nano Ledger, as I said before, you have this tiny screen and it's really not great, especially if you use your wallet often. I wanted something more comfortable to work with with a bigger display. Another issue was the connection to your laptop. With the Nano Ledger, you have to use a USB cable and it's very unreliable. How many times I had connection problems where I had to plug, unplug maybe 10 times before my laptop was able to recognize the Nano Ledger. Also, sometimes the connection broke while I was confirming a transaction with MetaMask and I had to redo everything and that's just so frustrating. So I really wanted to find a wallet with a better user experience which means a bigger display and if possible, no cable for the connection. And that is supposed to be the Lattice One wallet of Grid Plus. So let's see how it looks like. So this is the box of our wallet. As you can see, it's pretty big. I would say it's a box of 30 centimeter. So I'm going to start to open it very slowly very carefully because i don't want to damage what's inside all right so let's cut everything very slowly okay so now we can open let's see what is inside so first we have a sheet of paper we don't need that then we can start to unpack what's inside so let's pull this up okay some cardboard and after we have the safeguard so safeguards are used to store your private keys that's uh, optional you don't have to use them and then we have the main box inside okay so let's take this out Oh, it's a pretty nice box, very nice design. Uh, I can tell that they put some effort into the packaging. And so now my mission is to open this properly. So usually I'm pretty bad at opening items in a clean way. But since this is a dedicated item, I want to be very, very careful. Okay, so I think now it's good. So... Now we can open it okay it's coming out slowly 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 wow this is so big so it really looks like a tablet okay so now let's take it out 
Okay, so let's approach. And yeah, so you can see that it's pretty big. And behind we have two sockets, one for the Ethernet cable and the other one for the power cable. The Ethernet cable, it's optional because it can also connect with Wi-Fi. Okay, so let's put this on the table. And after, let's see what we have. So we have the safe cards here. And below this, we have some accessories. Okay, so that's in this little box. So let's open this. What do we have inside? And first we have the optional Ethernet cable. And after we have the power cable. And that's it. So to sum up what we have in the box, we have the wallet itself, which is pretty big. Then we have the safe card, we have the power cable and we have the Ethernet cable. Everything we need to use the wallet. After all of this, do I recommend to buy this wallet? I will do another video in a few months to let you know how was my experience after using it for a while. And in the meantime, here are my first impressions. If you are just getting started with a hardware wallet, it's probably better to start with something smaller and cheaper like the Nano Ledger. If you already used a hardware wallet before and you are a more advanced user with maybe a significant amount of crypto stored in your wallet and or you do a lot of crypto transactions, in this case, I think it's worth it to upgrade your setup and purchase the Lattice one. For your purchase, you can use the link I put down below in the description. Full disclaimer, this is an affiliate link, which means I will get a commission on each sale. That's it for this unboxing video of the Grip Plus Lattice One wallet. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in another video. Have a great day.